Hey guys, it's Olten, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the best Streamlabs OBS settings in 2020 to record any games. And also, guys, I'm going to show different settings that will also work for lower end PCs. So this won't this won't be just a video for, you know, the greatest computers out there. With that being said, let's get right into it. So first, guys, what you want to do is obviously open Streamlabs OBS. I'm assuming you already have that open. So at once you guys have done that, just go right over here. Bottom left, you have the little settings cog. Just click that. And then this should pop up. It's this little box with a bunch of different things. And a few of them, you know, you might not understand. I'm going to clear up everything. So let's go. The first thing is in the general tab, you guys don't really need to do anything. But if you do see any other settings that are different than mine, make sure that, you know, you try to mimic them. Basically, just copy them. So I've confirmed stream title, obviously checked. Disable hardware acceleration. You definitely want this unchecked. Just going down and stuff. And also, guys, for this restart Streamlabs, if you have like a sub goal on your screen and you have like a daily one, for example, or a daily donation goal, always click restart. So that way it goes to zero the next stream. All right. But yeah, here's the bottom settings. Moving on, stream. So just connect your Twitch, obviously, or, you know, YouTube, whatever platform you're doing, just make sure your account is logged in. All right, so the next thing you guys want to do is go to output. So my output mode is on advanced. Audio track is on one. You might have a different audio track based on what kind of audio you're receiving, but mine is on one. It, my, my audio actually goes through a Scarlet interface. So if you also have a Scarlet one, you know, just to put one right here. Encoder, I have a hardware NVENC. NVENC is actually your graphics card. And you should see another option that should say CPU, which is basically going to be, you know, the brain of your computer. And I would recommend if you're streaming like Fortnite games or first person shooters, I would definitely recommend hardware NVENC. That way, you know, your CPU can handle playing the game and your graphics card can take all the damage while it's streaming. And if you ever see new, always make sure that it's on the new setting. That is very, very important. Enforce streaming service encoder settings is checked. Rate control, I have control bitrate, which basically tries to keep the bitrate at a very, very... It just tries to keep it the most consistent that can be. There's other options here that you guys will see but those are i wouldn't really want to get into those this is definitely going to be the best for your stream and i would definitely recommend cbr again controlled bitrate my bitrate is 8000 that's because i'm a twitch partner if you are actually not a twitch partner then you have to use 6000 which is actually the max for an affiliate i'm pretty sure if you're not an affiliate i would recommend sticking around like four you know four to five thousand just because, you know, being an affiliate gives you a few extra privileges. But yeah, if you're a partner, definitely do 8,000. Also, guys, a good way to, you know, if you don't know what your bitrate should be, remember, everybody, you can always do an internet speed test. I, I would say that if you have, like, under 15 upload speed, I would stick to under 4,000 bitrate for sure. If you have over 15 then you can basically just use whatever bitrate you want. But again, if you are lagging and your game does look really, really blurry, then I would recommend lowering that bitrate a lot. Keyframe interval, I have that set on zero because, you know, you don't really need this on anything else. Preset, mine is on quality. There's also high quality, there's performance. High quality will actually make your game, which is, I've actually tested this. High quality made my game a lot blurrier. So if I was just running around, you know, the screen would all of a sudden literally just turn into pixels. So I turned it down to quality and you still get a nice smooth and a good image on your stream profile. There's a lot of controversy around this one because there's high and there's main. If you actually do click it, I can't click because I'm recording. I used to use main, but since I am streaming at above 720p, I do use high. If you guys stream at 720p, switch profile to main, okay? If you're 900p or 1080p, make sure that you guys do use high, okay? Moving on, we have audio. I would also recommend 41.1 here. And again, if you do change it, let's restart real quick. My channel's on mono. This is because my headset and, you know... I don't know, this is probably just my headset. I use the Bayer Dynamics, and for some reason, sometimes I can only hear, you know, audio through my left ear cuff. So I have to set on mono in order to hear things through both. Also, 
microphone is set up right there. Scarlet right in the auxiliary device. So this is where you want to be putting your uh, microphone, whether that's, you know, Blue Snowball, Blue Yeti, whatever you do have or an interface. This is where you want to put it. All others are disabled since I'm only using one interface. Video, this is what I use. 1920 by 1080 and output scaled resolution 1600 times 900. If you guys actually do click here, you won't be able to see anything. I mean, sorry, you won't be able to see 1600 by 900. As this is an actual custom resolution, you're going to see 1280 by 720, etc. And under from below that. But I would honestly recommend this. If you guys have over 15 upload speed, this is what you want to do. It's better than 720. It's a little bit worse than 1080, but there's not a huge difference. But I'm telling you, if you can run this, this will honestly make your stream a lot better. If you're on a single PC setup, just like myself, it is good not to run 1920 by 1080. No matter, even if you have like two, you know, 2080 Ti's, it can still make your game really blurry. So I would recommend right here 1600 by 900 for your output scaled resolution downscale filter length zones sharpen scaling 32 samples there's also 16 32 is the way you want to go if you have a bit of a budget pc recommend putting this to 16 fps type common please put this on common this is extremely important and once you guys have it on common set that to what fps you would like your game to be broadcasted at Hotkeys, this is, you know, if you guys want to set up any hotkeys for your streams. Advanced, these are all my advanced settings. So process priority is above normal. You definitely want to have this, even if you have a low-end PC, above normal. Color format, NV12, 601. These are just my default ones. I actually haven't changed anything here. So you guys should have the same. And um, yeah, going down game overlay. That's basically it if you guys need any more settings from me or you have any questions on what kind of you know settings you should use please feel free to drop in the comments what kind of computer you have and your internet speed and i will try to let you know the best settings but that does conclude the video i really appreciate you watching i hope this helped your stream look a lot better and overall hope you have a great day hey really microsoft <laughs> all right have a good one everybody